Hi there, CPO here, and in this video I'm going to go through the balancing of my props for the tricopter. This is normally a step that's generally taken for granted in most build series, but it's one of the more important steps, I believe, in ensuring you have a solid flight platform. A lot of people don't talk about balancing props unless there's a problem with vibrations or some other issue they're trying to run down. For that reason, a lot of beginners miss this step because it's not discussed very often. I'm no expert in balancing props, or anything for that matter, so I'm going to show you my method, but it may not be the most elegant solution, and there may be other more experienced uh, RC builders who have different ways, so do your research and figure out what works for you. But I'm going to actually go through balancing all three of my props, and what you're going to find is that they are all different. Uh, each one has its own unique characteristic that I'm working through. Now when I talk about balancing props, I'm talking about two different components of balancing props. I'm talking about balancing the blades to one another as far as equalizing weight between the two, and then also balancing the hub, uh, which is probably the step that most people actually forget about. I find that depending on the specific prop you're working on, you may end up having to balance the hub before you complete the balancing on the blades or sometimes you balance the blades before you deal with the hub. And in this video I actually have to do it two different ways because my props uh, are, you know, very different. So let's get started. Here are my three props. The two black props come out of the same bag and uh, obviously the orange one comes out of a different bag. But you'll find they're all very different. In this particular session I'm going to choose to balance the props with the prop adapter inside the props. Now the hub of these props look to be molded on both sides, so they should be uh, fairly well balanced if you balance with the center hub, as opposed to APC props that tend to have a drilled hole. These look to be molded. Uh, but either way, if I add in the prop adapter that I'm going to use to actually mount the prop, then it guarantees that I'm accounting for any weight variances that the prop adapter is going to have Plus, it also guarantees that I'm centering the balancing rod directly in the middle of the prop uh, as I'm going to have it on the motors. Some people like to glue in the prop adapter for this, but I'm just going to press them in. They're pretty tight. I tend to use a different method for putting the prop on the balancing rod than most people or instructions provide. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I reverse the front cone and have the flat part against the front of the prop and then I put the back cone in uh, as normal. When you mount the prop on the motor, you're actually using the flat front surface anyway, so this isn't much different than how it would be mounted. In APC props, this is almost critical. Uh, for these props, not necessarily so, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that way because I'm a creature of habit. Regardless, it's most important that your prop is exactly centered on the balancing shaft. If not, you'll be chasing down problems that don't exist and you'll be giving yourself your own headaches. So the first thing I look for when I set the prop on the balancer is which side falls uh, towards the bottom and in which direction. In this case, doing it twice even, the blade on the right is the one that drops. This could be a combination of two things. The blade being heavier than the other blade and the hub being out of balance and heavier uh, at that lower point. What I found through experience though is that if it's just the blade that is heavier then it will hang almost straight down. Generally if it hangs down at an angle and especially if it crosses the center line to get there it either has to do with the hub or perhaps a combination of the hub and the blade uh, weight which becomes a challenge of figuring out where to start. The next thing I like to do is swap it around now and then see if I can get the same blade to hang from the other direction. And as you can see here, having been dropped from the side, goes all the way past the center point across to the other side. This really screams that it's a hub out of balance as much as, uh, or instead of, the actual blades being out of balance. So dealing with the hub first in this case, I'm going to put a drop of CA glue on the very top of where it's sitting. Uh, basically, yeah, whenever it's at rest, the 
very bottom part of the hub is the heavy part, so you need to add weight to the top. A heavy CA is the best here, and especially if you have a kicker. I don't have either one of those. I'm using a medium CA and letting it air dry. I know some folks tend to use hot glue, and that may be an easy choice as well. So after letting my CA dry and rechecking the balance, it's still falling basically in the same exact location, which means I need more weight. Generally what I'll try and do is add weight first, and if that doesn't work, I'll see if I can add some more, and if not, uh, I usually go to removing some material. And in this case, if I look on the bottom where actually the heavy spot is, there's a little bit of a extra bit of plastic here from the molding process. That could be contributing to my problem. So I think the easy solution first is to file that bit off. Now let's see how it balances. Looking much better. As a matter of fact, it's looking really nice right now. Next I want to try playing around with uh, balancing it from different angles and seeing if it stays where I put it. A properly balanced prop will be able to stay in any position that you put it within a degree of tolerance. Checking now just to see how it works from different angles. After a little bit of playing around, I'm finding that there is one blade that seems to be consistently a little bit heavier than the other. And you can see it's dropping almost straight down. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a blade imbalance. So I'm going to add some tape to the light blade and see if I can balance those out better. Although this is probably perfectly flyable the way it is. I'm just a little bit picky. I'll start out with just a small amount of tape. Uh, and I usually try and put it right around the middle point of the blade. And you can see now the side I just taped is definitely heavier. So now I'll scratch a little bit of that tape that I just put on off and see if I can find that perfect amount. Yeah, still too heavy. Sometimes the hard part is knowing when to just leave it alone, but I'm going to keep working on this and getting it just right. Removing a little bit more tape. Hmm, that's not looking bad. Just a tiny amount makes a big difference. And now as you can see, moving it at all angles, the blades stay exactly where I put them. Particularly the 45 degree angle on both sides is I think the most valuable test. Again, there's also a degree of tolerance. I'm going to call this a balance prop and we're going to move on to the others. But first let's take a look at what I had to do to get this one balanced. I had a little bit of CA glue on uh, one side of the hub to add some weight and then on the other side of the hub I had to remove some weight and then I put a small piece of tape on one of the blades and that about sums it up and I think this one is good to go. Alright so let's take a look at prop number two. Now with this one you can see the one blade almost hangs straight down. It's kind of like a ticking clock. And that's immediately indicative of a heavy blade. And it seems that the heavy blade is outweighing any of the imbalance in the hub at this point. So for this particular prop, I'm going to start with the blades, getting them as balanced as I can. Adding tape to the light one until I can sort that out. Then I'll work on the hub. I've also found, and you'll see that later in this particular uh, prop balancing, that sometimes when I add weight to level out the blades, then I do the work on the hub, I find that I end up having to remove some of that weight off the blades because the hub does come into play here. But for now, I just want to get the blades as equal as I can and then figure out where the hub challenge is. And you might have noticed I pulled the prop off the balancer for a second just to make sure that it was actually centered on the balancing rod. Uh, when I see things really out of line, sometimes I check just to make sure that I actually mounted it correctly. And in this case, it seems to be okay, so I'm going to continue adding weight to the light blade until I get things balanced out. I also make sure to check and see if it falls the same from either direction, whether it's on the right side or the left side. And that continues to highlight the point that this is a 
right now a blade problem that I'm trying to sort out. Although the reality of it is, if the hub is uh, heavier near where the blade attaches, uh, they'll demonstrate very similar characteristics. So now I've added enough tape to that light blade that the heavy one isn't dropping anymore. So they're fairly close to being equal, and if anything, the one I've been taping may be just a tad heavier now. And as you just saw, when the blade tips and then goes all the way past the lower center line and then back up, you know definitely that it's a hub-related problem. This is where I switch my focus to the hub balancing and adding or removing weight as necessary to get that leveled. But even after gluing, there's still a little bit of tip to that same left side. I'm going to go ahead and file a little bit off the bottom to reduce some weight on the bottom side of that hub. I actually filed off quite a bit, taking it off and going several times. I think it's getting better though. The uh, taped blade, which should actually be heavier, um, is getting lower and lower. So I think I'm getting closer. I'm just going to add a little bit more weight on the top rather than filing more off. Uh, and I think I'm about close to uh, revisiting the actual blade balancing at this point. So after that last bit of glue, you can now see I'm getting the telltale TikTok sign that indicates my blade is actually heavier on the bottom. That's perfect because that's the one I've been taping up. So now that I'm getting the hub sorted out, I can start removing the tape off of the blade and get them back to being equalized again. You can see how challenging this can be because you really can't separate the blade balance and the hub balance because they're so closely related, particularly when we're dealing with hub issues that are near the point where the blade actually contacts the hub, which was the case in this one. But after some trial and error, going back and forth with tape and glue and filing, I finally ended up with a propeller that seems to be perfectly balanced. I'll tell you the best time to balance a prop isn't when you're ready to install them, but do it in the middle of other parts of your project. That way you can take your time, and if you get frustrated, you can just walk away. Although, it might not be a bad idea to have extra props, because some of them balance a lot easier than others. So now let's move to the last prop. And the interesting thing to note here is these both came out of the same bag, likely out of the same production lot. And you're going to find that they're very different as far as balance goes. Some of it could have to do with how the prop adapter is actually inserted in, if there's any uh, extra tabs hanging off, or if I cut it tighter than, uh, than the other ones. But... Uh, Anyway, very interesting how different each prop can be as far as balancing goes. So let's see what this one does. Clearly I have a blade that's heavy. Notice that it does the tick-tock motion, hangs straight down, and it doesn't matter which side I let it drop from, that blade continues to drop. So that's a good indication that we want to start with the blade balancing. And in fact, when I let it stand straight up, it hangs there, which may indicate the hub is perfectly balanced as well. But let's see. So either way, I'm definitely going to add some tape to the light blade to balance out the blades. I actually decided to let this part of the video run real time without doing any cuts or edits. Because I did want to show you how easy prop balancing can be if you've got a good prop to start with. The first one wasn't bad, the second one was a nightmare of back and forth gluing and, uh, and filing. But this prop, out of the same bag that the second prop came from, I put a single piece of tape on it and it looks to be perfectly balanced at this point. I don't think there's anything else I need to do to it. I wish all my props were this easy to balance. Oh, and just to show you, um, here's a prop that I balanced using my other method of attaching the prop to the balancing bar 
with the flat part on the front of the prop. And this time I used the two points pointing inwards towards the prop. And you can see uh, it still stays balanced perfectly. So these HK props that I'm using uh, don't seem to care which way uh, you put them. So that's it. Um, I hope I didn't bore you to death uh, with balancing props. But I think it's one thing to have somebody explain to you how to balance props. It's another to see the actual characteristics uh, that a prop demonstrates when it's out of balance and then trying to troubleshoot how to resolve it. Again, I'm not an expert in prop balancing, so my method may be different than somebody else's, and your method may be different than mine. Uh, the key is just figure out what works for you, and your end result is to look for a properly balanced prop, uh, regardless of exactly which method you use to achieve that. Now, what this doesn't take into account is the motor balance. So once we get the prop mounted on the motor, we may still actually have vibration from the motor being out of balance. But at least if you've taken the time to balance your props properly, you'll know where to start looking if you still have vibration problems. But uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.